God bless you. I want to talk to you today about God's got this. We all have things that come against us. It's easy to live uptight, wondering how it's going to work out. What if the medical report isn't good? What if my finances don't get better? What if my child doesn't get accepted in that school? We tried to figure it out. We've done our best, but we don't see anything changing. If we're not careful, we'll live worried, discouraged, not expecting it to get better. But there's a simple phrase you have to keep down in your spirit. God's got this. He's on the throne. He sees what's happening. He already has the solution. You don't have to figure it out. There may not be a logical answer. In the natural, you don't see a way. That's okay. We serve a supernatural God. He has ways to do it we've never thought of. And instead of trying to force it to happen, living uptight, you have to let go and let God. When you turn it over to him and say, God, I know you've got this. I know you're in control. Not only will you feel the heaviness, the weight lift off of you, but God will make things happen that you couldn't make happen. And some of the things that are frustrating you now, causing you to lose sleep, that would all change if you would have this new perspective that God's got this. Sometimes we're trying to play God. We're trying to make our boss promote us, make ourselves get well and make the contract go through. But as long as we're trying to force it, living frustrated, worried, then God steps back. But when you take your hands off and say, God, I know you've got this. I'm not going to worry about my finances. I'm not going to live up tight because of the medical report. I'm not going to be frustrated because I haven't met the right person. God, I trust your timing and I trust your ways. My life is in your hands. God never promised that we wouldn't have difficulties, but he did promise he would give us strength for every battle. He would take what was meant for harm and use to our advantage. You may have a good reason to worry about something. In your health, your finances, a dream, you've done everything you can, doesn't look like it's going to work out, stay in faith. God is saying, I've got this. I'm working behind the scenes. I'm in the process of turning it around. It's just a matter of time before you see things change in your favor. Now, live out of a place of peace, a place of trust. It may not happen the way you thought, but God's ways are better than our ways. God knows what's best for you. He's got this. In the scripture, a young man named Daniel worked for King Darius. The king loved Daniel. Daniel was so good at what he did, the king was going to put Daniel in charge of his whole empire. But when the other leaders heard this, they were jealous. They came up with a plan to get rid of Daniel. When you excel, when your gifts come out in great ways, don't be surprised if people get jealous. Everyone is not going to celebrate you. Some people will try to find fault and hold you back. The good news is people don't determine your destiny. God does. Keep being your best and let God fight your battles. Don't get distracted trying to prove to them who you are. God will be your vindicator. God will take care of your enemies. And these people that were against Daniel tried to manipulate the king. They said, King, you're so great. We've written a decree that for the next 30 days, no one can pray to anyone except you. If they do, they'll be thrown into a lion's den. They did this because they knew Daniel prayed to Jehovah. They convinced the king to sign this decree, but that didn't change Daniel. Three times a day, just like normal, he knelt down on his knees, opened his windows, and prayed to the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. They ran back and told the king, this guy Daniel, one of the captives from the tribe of Judah, is defying your order. The king was upset with himself. He knew they had manipulated him, but he couldn't go back on his word, so he had Daniel sent to the lion's den. 
What's interesting is that whole night the king fasted for Daniel. And when you're in difficult situations, God has people praying for you that you don't know anything about. This king was supposed to be his enemy, but he was actually believing for Daniel's safety. When they arrested Daniel and took him to the lion's den, he wasn't afraid, worried, panicked. He understood this principle. A little earlier, Daniel had seen his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Hebrew teenagers, get thrown into a fiery furnace and come out without the smell of smoke. Daniel's attitude was, God's got this. I'm in the palm of his hand. Nothing can snatch me away. If it's not my time to go, I'm not going to go. Now, all through the day, when you're tempted to worry, keep this phrase playing in your mind, God's got this. If you'll do this, I believe and declare you're going to see God's goodness in new ways. You're going to come out of the lion's dens, rise higher, accomplish dreams, and become everything God's created you to be in Jesus' name. If you receive it, can you say amen today? I'd like to give you an opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Would you pray with me? Just say, Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. If you prayed that simple prayer, we believe you got born again. Get in a good Bible-based church and keep God first place.